welcome to my stand at the aircraft interior show. I think this is the best, coolest table you can ever get. An engine turning table with lights coming out of the side. Think about this as a window, you can see the engine turning all the time sitting at home, right? Isn't that cool? So imagine you have an airplane, you need aircraft interior, you need connectivity, maintenance, and all the supply stuff. And this is why we're here to check out some of the cool stuff on the show. Follow me. Welcome to Aircraft Interiors Middle East. Um, wanted to introduce to you the, the newest uh, seat innovation from Heiko Cabin Solutions. Uh, Sam, maybe you could come over and take a seat and we'll walk you through some of the seat features. So this is an eight kilogram seat for narrow body aircraft. What's unique about this seat is the, its slimline design. What it does is it gives space back to the passenger. So you're sitting in a seat with 29 inches of pitch and you have comfortable leg room and knee room. You can extend your legs out. So Sam, one of the other things, this, this um, seat has a proper table. So this is attached to the spreaders. It's not just attached to the seat back. So you don't get, when this person is moving in the seat, you still have a stable table. I mean, I'm almost 6'2", 6 feet 2 inches, and even I am, can stretch my legs out. And I'm in a comfortable seating position. The other interesting thing about this seat is you have a full bottom cushion. So oh. this is not a slimline cushion. One of the things that we've done is we've carried over our full cushion, just like you would have on a seat that you would be flying eight, 10, 12 hours. So what we've tried to do is to make a really smart compromise between weight, comfort, and, and then durability. The seat has been designed really with coming out of our, our MRO heritage recognizing what makes a durable seat as well. If down the line we're talking about sustainability and less emission, then we need a lighter weight business class seat as well. So I just met Alejandro, who's actually an aircraft seats designer. He actually studied at TU Delft in the uh, Netherlands. And he's actually got some cool concept seats. And hopefully one of these seats can make it to the airlines one day we can sit and you got some double decker seats right can you show us yeah so basically i did i decided to design this double decker seat in order to improve the passenger experience in the economy class so this has been done after a lot of research at the tu delft and we have developed this seat where we can have passengers sitting at two different levels and therefore we can give them more comfort and also we can give them different passenger uh, experience and possibilities for example you would be able to sleep on the top row in a full flat bed that closes with curtains and actually that would give you a private space within the economy class you don't have to pay for business now oh. to, to fly comfortably and to sleep in so the in economy class. So it's to use class. the vertical space that is between the ceiling currently and the seats so you can have a, a space at top people can sleep up there and then three people can sit underneath it at the bottom. Exactly you would get rid of the overhead cabin storage and by taking advantage of that space you can put another seat that is a little bit higher the luggage storage goes behind under the seat now. Under the seat. Yeah, and oh. by taking advantage of that, we can create much more space, much more recline of possibilities. This is why I love the aircraft interior shows. That everything you see inside the airplane cabin, you probably can find it here. There's flight attendant uh, uniforms here, actually. So I guess your company designed these uniforms. Exactly. Yeah, creation and image. Uh, create and uh, produce all the uniforms. Right, so and we do many one. many companies in the Middle East area. Let me so. take some guests on your yes, uniform. Yeah, yeah, sure. I know this one because this one's kind of give you a hint. There's a falcon, a golden falcon. So that's Gulf Air, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, from Bahrain. Yeah, we do Air, Air Mauritius. This one's the, oh, I didn't know. This is Air Mauritius. Yeah, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I flew you know, with Air yeah. Mauritius. I'll say giveaway on the uh, on the scarf here, Air Mauritius. And okay. we do also like uh, all the all the uniforms for Kuwait. Kuwait Airways. Yeah, Kuwait Airways, yes. So this is the current exactly, yeah. of Kuwait Airways. And we have developed a special wow. uh, fabric, especially for them. This is uh, fabric from France, French fabric, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Very high class. Yeah, wow. all our stylists in, are in France, in Paris, we are based. In French, they're very beautiful fashion on ladies, right? Yeah, uh, we man. try. I need, to try yeah. <laughs> I need to try on your fashion like a man one. You, you have one, you know, one. for the captain. Oh, you know, the captain. So, yeah. yeah. 
that's for me. I need to dress up with this one here. And there you go. you're missing that, you the know. Captain's hat here, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So no, now you're a captain. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm at one of the most interesting stands in the whole aircraft interior. And this stand has the first Emirates A380 memorabilia. You can see A6 ADA. This is coming out from the gear uh, door, right? And nowadays, this is the trend. Every collector of aircraft is collecting aviation tags. These tags coming out of retired A380 skin, right? And what can be better than meeting the biggest A380 uh, Emirates fans, which is Skywarp Break Lays here. So Lays, what did you buy today here? I bought seven different destinations, including a very special one, which is where he was born. It's the XFW. Oh, it's Hamburg, yes, Thinkenwelder. The, the man behind my Dubai Air Show and also the aircraft interior MRO stand is Fawaz. Fawaz is absolute a genius. He recycled airplanes parts and turned them into furniture. And just like here, he has created quite a few wonderful items of window. And he's done engine cowling, tables, chairs, seats, you name it. This is definitely a great opportunity for uh, myself, Wingscraft and uh, Falcon Aircraft Recycling to uh, display most of our items, which we uh, taken from the first Emirates A380, Alpha 6 Echo Delta Alpha. Which destination? Yeah of the steam tag is the most popular of course dxb dxb is the most popular yes one. i need to get hold of one <laughs> yes exactly yeah. yes today at the aircraft interior middle east i met with andre from woods air he's actually a uh, internet connectivity expert onto the airplane so my question here is how many types of internet connectivity currently we have how can we connect uh, internet onto an airplane if we talk about the real-time connectivity I would assume there are three groups that we could consider. This is a satellite, it's a very heavy, costly environment of connectivity, let's call it so. Then we have aircraft to ground. This is more developing unit that I think there is a future in this. And then we talk about this uh, light solution of, of connectivity. We actually at the company, we are trialing this solution now. It allows our customers to have a free texting solution uh, based on the Bluetooth technology. So being in flight, they could text it freely it's around like 20 text messages per one second. A lot of interesting company uh, participating in the aircraft interior Middle East. I'm sure you have already flown these first class seats Emirates on their 777. Yeah. And this is actually our genuine leather on the Collins first class and business class suites. So your company produced these letter on the airplane seats. Exactly, we do hides, we do panels for perforation with different kind of version, with anti-stain and uh, resistance. And uh, this is what we do for different level of uh, leather from first class top level to very lightweight, very durable product on some low cost carriers in synthetic to save some weight. Some airline, they have fabric seats. And I also see a lot of airline using leather seats. So what's the trend going? Is more leather seats in favor or the fabric seats? That's a good question actually, Sam. It really depends on the area. For example, if you go in the States, in North America, you can see already a lot of market share in the synthetic leather. For example, you take United or other ones, Delta. They are already flying a lot with synthetic leather. Uh, in this area, Middle East, uh, the, the clear trend is fabrics, especially on economy. But you have some big carriers like Saudi or Emirates. Saudi is flying exclusively with genuine leather. And we are trying to push this trend that we see in Europe, Western Europe. We really see a big trend for the short and medium range aircraft to move to synthetic leather for cost uh, reasons and weight reasons again. This is synthetic leather? Yes, actually, and as you can feel, you do not really feel the difference with genuine leather. So for some economy seats, for example, when the idea is to save cleaning time and also weight, because actually this, genu this synthetic leather is 60-65% less weight than a genuine leather and maybe 25% less weight than uh, fabrics, then you can get for H320 maybe 90 kilograms, 250 kilograms per chipset of savings just by moving to synthetic leather. And it can be laminated, and usually the passenger don't feel the difference on board.
So we saw lots of beautiful leather seats, and now we came to a company provide a good solution how to clean this leather. Because imagine the leather gets dirty, your mother is not going to be happy, right? Yeah, yeah correct, yeah, correct, yeah. correct. So, so you got something to show you, me here. You can write something on on the leather on the yeah. artificial leather. I invite you. Okay. To do this. I'll write something and. Yeah, you can write. Uh, I'll draw a heart here. Yes. Yeah. You can do it also on this one. Okay. And you can do it on pen. Uh huh. Yeah. Normally I don't do this on the airplane. No. That's graffiti, right? <laughs> yeah. I just uh, yeah. Be nofty today. We can clean this with this. I can show you. Then I need to wipe. Really? Wow. It's specially made wipes for this. And then it's gone. It's gone. Completely gone. Yeah. Wow. How do you see the future mm. of IFE evolving from this point right now? You know, if ever it's gonna, we're gonna achieve like streaming, mm. like you can do like in the hotel room or at home streaming, YouTube right. streaming, uh, Netflix and stuff like that. There will be no more screen. People will use their own device. From my perspective, you've nailed it, right? Exactly what the, the, the industry needs is the capability to really create an ecosystem on board to give airlines the opportunity to brand effectively and engage with their passengers in every aspect of mobile devices to seatback entertainment to streaming Wi-Fi and also being able to engage with them in a digital way. So in the past, you've had menus that are handed to you, right? That's all going to be digital in the future. In the past, you've had to you know, navigate to your map to find out how long you have until your destination. In the future, smart surfaces and those capabilities are going to be available for you to just wave your hand over an area and see your time to destination or customize that from an airline perspective. And also the Bluetooth pairing of headphones, I believe is gonna be one of the latest trends that airlines are really gonna adopt as fast as possible. So earlier I was telling you that annoying IAV box restricting your leg room, right? But this is one of the IAV box, but this is not actually restricting a leg room. I found it here, right? Yeah, so Sam, yeah. This, this goes instead of under the seat uh, in the overhead bin and you can stream content via Wi-Fi up to 50 passengers per unit on right. the plane. So it goes up like this in the overhead bins. Exactly. It doesn't come down to the leg room. Absolutely not. Yeah. Saves a lot of space, saves a lot of weight and uh, really great uh, for streaming to passengers. Yeah, I mean, it's great. People keep improving, developing for the comfort of passengers. And this is why we come to trade shows to see it firsthand and report it back to you. You know, I feel like I'm in a uh, showroom and selecting the interior, shopping for my next airline. I really like the wood one, which I also seen in some of the airlines. They have this kind of finishing on the bulkhead or around the side panel. I see this sample very interesting. Uh, it's like uh, some sort of tile, look like a lemon eye. I thought airplane only have carpets inside the interior. Oh, no, no, they, they, there's many different types of flooring. Uh, uh, Schneller specialise in NTF, which is non-textile flooring. So we have a big range of products there for galleys, labs. Um, so yeah, there, there are many different types of flooring which are hard, hard flooring rather than carpet for safety purposes, yeah? There's a lot of new technology to explore on the connectivity front because connectivity is vital now. We can't live without Wi-Fi probably more than one hour, right? So Patrick here, he's got actually quite a new invention called Li-Fi. I'll let you explain how Li-Fi works and how much faster that will be. With a high modulation frequency, you can transfer high digital volume of data through optical fiber and through the infrared light. 10 times, at least 10 times above the wireless classic Wi-Fi connection. In oh, terms of 10 high. times higher ten and faster. Time, yeah. Is this very expensive technology? It's comparable to wireless current technology with Wi-Fi. And the volume of data is 100 times bigger. You know, there's so much component and parts inside the interior in the airplane. Have you thought about where the carpets come from? Where all the curtain divider come from? 
in here at the Aircraft Interior Middle East exhibition here. I found out uh, some of the providers here, so nice to meet you. Now I have a question. The airplane carpets or airplane yeah. textile stuff, are they very different to, you know, at home or in a hotel? Absolutely, because you have different requirements. Um, like the burning behavior, like anti-static behavior, and of course in regards of durability. So the home carpet is not as durable, definitely not as durable as the, as the aircraft carpets. As you can imagine, it, uh, hundreds of people walking on the carpet every day. Uh, you need to have a, current, a kind of stability and durability. Well, that's a wrap for the two-day show. I hope you guys enjoy seeing some of these latest industry development trend and see you next year again.